Hi there, I'm Emma Dunn from UAW TV and today I'm joined by Professor Paul Wellings, the university's new Vice-Chancellor. Professor, welcome. Can you tell us a bit about yourself? For sure. Uh, well, three, we three weeks into the job, uh, excited to, to be here and before that I was uh, nine and a half years Vice-Chancellor in Lancaster and before that uh, about 20 years uh, in Canberra with CSRO. Okay, so what brought you to UAW then? Well, the, 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 the opportunity to, to move to a research-led university and to take on uh, an additional role as, vi as Vice-Chancellor. Uh, Lancaster was research-led and an interesting university, rather like Wollongong, a big regional university, and that's where my interest lay, and so it was a tremendous opportunity for me uh, both to move back home and also to be here in the Illawarra. Um, you talked about our um, innovation. Um, so we've got an innovation campus. Have you got any visions for the campus? Well, I'd, I'd like to see the innovation campus progress. I mean, I think it was, it was Larry Summers, who was Bill Clinton's uh, treasurer, who made the point that uh, the next generation of innovation is going to come uh, by industry connecting to un research-led universities that are about an hour from an international airport. And if you think of Australia, there's only about five universities in that context. Wollongong is one of those, and the innovation campus is then critical for that, uh, for that driver for the future. Um, what's your vision for our campuses and faculties? You know, do you see any mergers in the future? Well, I haven't looked at structure. You've got to remember I'm a, I'm a biologist, so I think form follows function. And what we'll be doing is looking at a lot of the uh, activities of the university, ways of, uh, of getting more uh, output for the, for the work that we've got. And if that means some structural change, well, that's something that we would come to. But uh, to begin with, what I want to do is to engage in a debate around what are we trying to do. Because I think, I think you would have heard me say that um, we're currently in the top 2% in the world and it's a reasonable aspiration for us to be in the top 1% in the world. So that's, that's actually quite a big challenge. And that says that we, sh we should look at our functions first before we start looking at our form. So how do you, how do you hope we get there then? Well, I, I'm, I'm around, about to sort of trigger a, a range of uh, ephemeral sort of working groups looking at, at different issues to do with the, the life and times of the university, how to make sure that things like the student experience or the curriculum or, or student-based services or the research priorities of the university, those sorts of things are turbocharged and, and, are, and, are, mo and are moving forward. Um, you touched on the student experience there. What can students expect um, in regards to, say, improvements and things like that that you've got in store for them? Yeah. Well, at, at, at this stage, sort of uh, early days, but I, th I think what I'd like to see is to make sure that clubs and societies for students are, are working effectively, um, the the teaching experience, which I think is second to none actually in an Australian context, stays there and then the, there are opportunities for you know, generic skill developments that are beyond just being in the classroom are options for, for students who want to engage with that sort of part of student life. But we've got a fine campus and we've got lots of amenities. I'm hoping that a lot of the things that we already do are there and they just need tweaking a little bit. Um, so when making decisions and, you know, making plans, there's often different agendas and groups involved in the planning process. How do you try to cope with those different views? Well, what, what I want to do is to say, how do, how do I create momentum to, to legitimise a strategic plan? And one, one of the issues for me is to engage in, with, with as many people as possible in that process. And that's why I want to move off with a large number of, of groups and... Uh, some of those groups will have student representation on them to try and make sure that um, different stakeholder groups in the university, if I can use that term, uh, are engaged and that not every group just has the usual suspects on but there's a degree of um, outward looking to engage people who've got views about the direction of travel of the university so their voice is actually built into the process a little bit right from the start. If we were to sit down and have this conversation in, say, one or two years, um, what do you hope you would have achieved in that time? Well, I, th I, th I think that um, the issue around teaching standards and quality clearly is a, is a national debate uh, with the new framework coming in place. So I'm hoping that we will have stayed as a leading teaching university. I hope we will have picked up the pace on uh, research and some of the impact of our research 
uh, is seen slightly more greatly. I think the international identity will be beginning to move forward. That's that's a long-term game plan to make sure that happens. And I think I think beyond that, community engagement, I think it has to stay where it is. I think Jared Sutton and his colleagues did a fantastic job in positioning the university in the broader context of the Illawarra. And I think it would be remiss of me to let that drift off the mark. Well, that's all I've got time for today. Thank you for joining us in UAW TV.